Hello friends, I'm Priscilla Pearl. I'm an avid knitter and vintage enthusiast from Vancouver Island, British Columbia, Canada. I love to knit from both vintage and modern patterns to create items that complement my vintage inspired wardrobe. If you want to see more of what I'm up to, I can be found on both Instagram and Ravelry as The Lavender Pearl. In today's video, I'm going to show you most of my shawls. When looking through my shawls for today's video, I quickly realized that I have so many shawls that there are some that I don't even remember knitting. Today, I am only going to tell you about the memorable ones. My record keeping of my knits used to be kind of shoddy, so I don't remember exactly when I knit each one, so I'm not going to go in any particular order. I remember most of the details uh, for the projects that I'm going to talk about and the yarns, but I don't remember every single colorway that I used. For the first few years of my knitting journey, I knit almost exclusively shawls. When I was a new knitter, I really appreciated that shawls are one size fits all. I didn't have to worry too much about getting gauge or knitting something that wasn't going to end up fitting me when I was finished it. I quickly realized that shawls are an addicting knit. I love that I can go to the local yarn store and pick up a fancy skein of hand-dyed fingering weight yarn and that it's easy to find a pattern to go with it. Even as a more experienced knitter, I still enjoy knitting shawls. It's just harder now to justify knitting more shawls when I already have so many. Around Christmas 2018 and into January 2019, I knit the Cardinia Wrap by Amba O'Brien. I used Madeline Tosh Tosh Merino Light. Tosh Merino Light is a 100% merino single ply fingering weight yarn. The colorways that I used were Onyx, Silver Fox, and Rose. I really love this wrap. I'm really happy with the color palette that I chose and I think it looks really nice with my coloring. The shape of this wrap is really lovely and easy to wear. It can be worn both over the shoulders or around the neck like a scarf. The big blocks of color are lovely and this shawl would look beautiful in so many different color combinations. This was a fairly large project. It's knit horizontally so each row is pretty long. The different sections keep it interesting though. I would definitely recommend knitting this pattern. It was not a difficult knit and the finished wrap is gorgeous. You could easily get creative with your color choices and even use a variegated yarn or two. Next I'm going to tell you about one of the first shawls that I knit and the one that I received the most compliments on when I've worn out and about. This is Offhand Lace by Caitlin French. I knit this shawl back in October, November of 2014. I used Knit Picks Wool of the Andes Bulky in Blackberry. Wool of the Andes Bulky is a 100% wool, bulky weight yarn. I love this yarn and it created a very cozy shawl. It has pilled a little bit over the years but has been worn heavily and in all weather so I'm not bothered by that. This is a very fun and easy knit. This would be the perfect pattern for a first shawl. It's explained well and uses very basic techniques. I knit a second one just over a year ago as a gift and it's an enjoyable knit for a more experienced knitter as well. It's available for free on Ravelry. When I knit this shawl I used four skeins of yarn and just kept knitting the 16 row repeat until I'd used almost all of my yarn. You could easily customize the size of this shawl or use a different weight of yarn as long as you changed your needle size to get your desired drape. The shawl is perfect for staying warm in cold weather. I like to wear it wrapped around my neck with my winter jacket when it's really cold out. Because it's so bulky, it covers my neck and chin and is really cozy. I love wearing it draped over my shoulders as well. It feels like I'm wrapped up in a warm blanket, but I still look presentable. I highly recommend this pattern for an easy and cozy knit. It has a very classic shape and it goes with everything. Let's talk about something more colorful next. My Dotted Rays by Stephen West. I used Cat Sandwich Fibers Glitzy in Sailor Mercury. Glitzy is a 70% merino, 25% nylon, and 5% Stellina fingering weight yarn. I used two skeins. 
This yarn is stunning and so soft. I'm so happy with how this pattern shows off this yarn. Because of the unique shaping of this shawl, it makes some really cool pooling. I decided to knit mine in stockinette instead of garter stitch because I prefer how this yarn looks in stockinette. This was a really fun knit. Stephen West designs some really cool shawls using genius techniques and this shawl is no different. I am ashamed to say that this is the only shawl pattern of his that I've knit. His patterns are gorgeous but they tend to look very modern and don't really fit with my style. This shawl is modern looking, but it's more subdued than his other designs. It's a crescent shawl, but uses short rows to create an asymmetrical shape. I really enjoyed knitting it. This shawl is stunning, and the gorgeous yarn really shines with this pattern. I would definitely recommend this knit. It was a lot of fun, and as soon as I was done, I wanted to knit another. Because of the construction with the short rows, there are a ton of ways that you can combine different yarns and make a really unique shawl. Next, I'm gonna tell you about my favorite scrap project. This is Leftovers by Caitlin French. I knit this shawl in March and April of 2020. It's a shawl pattern where you hold multiple strands of yarn together and add a new strand in when you run out of another. It creates a gorgeous marled look and you can fade to other colors easily. I used a combination of leftover yarns from projects and mini skeins that I didn't know what to do with. I used some leftover Black Cat custom yarn, cat sandwich fibers, and other hand dyed yarns as well as some knit picks. Luckily I mostly knit with red, purple, blue, and black yarn, so it was easy to put together a color palette. I held four strands of fingering weight yarn together throughout, but it's a flexible pattern and other weights could be used. This was my first time doing a scrap project, just because I hadn't found one that spoke to me before. After this pattern was released, I went to bed that night and couldn't think of anything else, so I started digging through my stash and picking out colors first thing the next morning. I had a ton of fun knitting this shawl. It's a super easy pattern, but I couldn't wait to see how it would look each time I added a new yarn. This is one of my favorite shawls, and I don't think it looks like a scrap project. Next, I'm going to tell you about a shawl that I've knit twice. This is the Pebble Beach Shawl by Helen Stewart. I knit this small version in early 2015 using a black fingering weight yarn. Unfortunately, I didn't write down which yarn I used. I really enjoyed knitting this pattern and I love the shape of it. So when more sizes were added, I was excited to knit the large version as well. I knit the large shawl in 2016 using just under two skeins of Malabrigo lace in Damask. Lace is a single ply 100% merino lace weight yarn. It was lovely to work with and it's very light and soft. I love the shape of this crescent shawl. It has nice long arms and the arms twirl a little bit when hanging. The small is a bit small for my taste, but it's very dainty. I like my shawls a little bit bigger, so the large is a perfect size for me. There are also instructions for a medium shawl. This is a beautiful shawl to throw over my shoulders in the summer, and the lace patterns keep it nice and light. There are a few different sections in this pattern to keep it interesting, and the directions are written out very clearly. Let's jump ahead to May and June of 2019 when I knit Plumpy by Andrea Mowry. I used Subculture Yarn Superwash Merino DK in Hot Flamingo, Unicorn Farts, Naughty Girl, and Cotton Candy. Subculture Yarn is one of my favorite dyers and they are local to me on Vancouver Island in Canada. This yarn is stunning and so vibrant. I had so much fun picking out this color combo. This isn't my usual colors, but something about it spoke to me and I love wearing this shawl. Even though I've worn this shawl quite a bit, I can't find any wear or pilling on it. I highly recommend this yarn. This shawl was so much fun to knit. 
I love two color brioche and seeing these colors working up together was a joy. This pattern uses different combinations of a couple of the yarns in each section and I was always excited to see how the next section was going to look. This shawl is big and cozy and so nice to cuddle up in. Because it's DK weight, it's not too heavy. It has a really fun shape and drapes over the shoulders or around my neck easily. People have knit so many color combinations from more subdued colors to more vibrant ones. This is an extremely satisfying knit and talking about it is making me want to knit some more two color brioche. Next I'm going to tell you about another pattern by Caitlin French that I've knit. This is Without Moonlight. I knit this shawl in early 2019 using Debbie Bliss Paloma. Paloma is a 60% alpaca, 40% merino, super bulky chainette yarn. It is so soft. I touched it once at a store a couple years before I bought it and I never stopped thinking about it. It's a pricey yarn though, so it wasn't until it was on sale a few years later that I bought it. This is the first chainette yarn that I had ever seen and my mind was blown by how light and airy it is while still being bulky. This is a beautiful pattern and I love how mine knit up. It's so cozy and the eyelet design reminds me of a flower. I love Caitlin French's patterns and I think it's super cool that she's also a Canadian and from Vancouver, BC. I saw her once at a fiber festival called Knit City in Vancouver, but I knew if I went over to talk to her I would end up gushing over her patterns and I would end up being super weird about it. I added a few extra rows of garter stitch at the end of my shawl just because I wanted to have more squishy yarn on my shawl. This is a lovely crescent shaped shawl and I love wearing it. Next I'm going to tell you about one of the shawls that has been heaviest in my rotation since I knit it. This is the Bennett Sister Shawl by Lindsay Fowler. I knit this shawl in October and November of 2019 using Beehive Yarns Dusty in Blackberry Lips and Patty in Gunsmoke. Dusty is a fingering weight, 80% merino, 10% nylon, and 10% cashmere yarn. It is unbelievably soft and super luxurious. Patty is a 72% mohair and 28% silk lace weight yarn. It is also super soft and has a gorgeous halo. Both of these yarns are held together for half of the shawl and knit up super luxuriously. I haven't noticed any wear on this shawl, which is impressive for the amount that I've worn it. I've used Beehive yarns a few times. I love their yarn so much and the Dyer Beth is absolutely lovely. I wish the exchange rate between British pounds and Canadian dollars was better just so I could buy from her more often. This shawl is a very simple pattern, but it's a fun knit and really shows off the yarn. You could easily pair a variegated yarn with a solid color just to make it even more fun. I love that it's knit corner to corner so it's an easy cast on and cast off. This shawl is so soft and cozy but it's still nice and light. It is the perfect size too and drapes over my shoulders nicely. Because it's a simple pattern it really showcases the yarn and is very wearable. I highly recommend both this pattern and this yarn. Next I'm going to tell you about a shawl that didn't get the wear that it deserves. This is the Oracle Shawl by Volenbein. I knit this shawl in early 2018 using Knit Picks Palette. Palette is a 100% wool fingering weight yarn. I did not keep good records of my knits in 2018 so I'm not sure exactly what colorways I used. I used a plum colored purple, a vibrant purple, and a black. Palette is a workhorse type yarn with a ton of color choices. I think the reason why I chose this yarn for this project was because of all the color options. This pattern is absolutely stunning and I fell in love with it the second I saw it. I had so much fun knitting it as well. It was my first pie shaped shawl and I love the shape. It looks cute folded in half 
or fold it off center so you can see more of the pattern. Unfortunately, I just don't love the colors that I chose. Two shades of purple and a black should have been a winner in theory, but I can't help but feel like something is off about this combo. I ordered these yarns online, so they made more sense on the screen. I kept waiting for it to grow on me while I was knitting, but it just hasn't. I love pie shawls, and they're so much fun to wear, but I find them difficult to layer with a jacket. They look cute as a single outer layer or over a cardigan, but they don't wrap around your neck in the scarf style like a triangular shawl or a crescent shawl. I find because of that I don't grab them as often as I would like. Telling you about this shawl has made me realize I really want a do-over. This is a fabulous pattern and I love knitting lace and two-color brioche. Now I really want to pick out some different yarn and knit this shawl again. This neck shawl you might recognize because it's similar to the last one and I talked about it in my 2020 knitting recap video. This is the Half Moon Oracle by Volenbein. I knit this shawl in February 2020 using Black Cat Custom Yarn Everyday Sock in Voltaire, Saffirion, and Demon Hunter. Everyday Sock is an 80% merino, 20% nylon fingering weight yarn. I bought this yarn at Knit City in Vancouver in 2019. It reminds me of the wonderful day that I had every time I look at it. Black Cat Custom Yarn is a dyer from BC Canada and their yarns are vibrant and gorgeous. I feel like this color combo is perfect and I'm so happy with my yarn choices. These colors remind me of fluorite. I love this shawl. It is such a fun knit and I love the combination of lace and two color brioche. Because of the shape of this shawl, it sits over my shoulders really nicely. I love seeing the colors that people have put together for both of the oracle shawls. They are both such fun patterns and they are stunning. Next, I'm going to tell you about a dainty crescent shaped shawl. This is the Oyster Shawl by Amba O'Brien. I knit this shawl in early 2017 using Knit Picks Palette in Urchin and Seraphim. As mentioned before, Palette is a 100% wool fingering weight yarn. I am starting to think that this is what inspired buying two shades of purple Palette yarn for my Oracle. Unfortunately, the purples that I picked out for my Oracle did not look as nice together as these ones. I love these two shades of purple together and I think this shawl is gorgeous. I like palette, but I find that I prefer softer yarns for shawls or other things that I wear around my neck. I think I would wear this shawl a lot more if it was a bit softer. This is a gorgeous pattern and there are so many color combos that you could do. The lace at the bottom is a unique pattern. A lot of shawls use similar lace patterns so I appreciate that this is a little bit different. When I knit this shawl, I wasn't comfortable with color work, so I like that this shawl combines two colors, but only one strand of yarn is used in a row, so it was very easy. I've knit a couple of shawl patterns by Amba O'Brien. Her patterns are easy to follow and they turn out lovely. The shawl is a perfect size and shape for wearing and looks cute draped over my shoulders or around my neck. Finally, I'm going to show off one of my favorite pie shawls. This is Bruja by Caitlin French. I absolutely love this shawl. I'm pretty sure I knit it in spring of 2018. I used Cascade Eco Plus, but I'm not sure of the colorway that I used, just because I wasn't keeping good records around that time. It's a dark grey color. Eco Plus is a 100% wool, bulky weight yarn. I'm very happy with how this yarn worked up. It's quite soft for being a non-merino wool and it wears well. It's also a very reasonable price and is great if you need a lot of yardage for a large bulky weight project. This shawl is stunning and I love the eyelet designs. The design in the middle reminds me of either a flower or the sun, and there is a beautiful leaf design as well. I loved knitting this shawl, and I'm so happy with how it turned out. 
It's the perfect size for a pie shawl and is nice and cozy to curl up in. It's really cozy folded in half, but I love just folding over a little bit at the top and showing off the color work design down my back. It looks a bit like a collar with just a little bit folded over. This pattern is not very difficult and it's easy to follow. If you've never knit a pie shawl and they look a little bit overwhelming to you, this would definitely be a good pattern to try. This shawl is absolutely stunning and I love mine so much. I highly recommend this pattern and I would definitely knit with this yarn again. I wish I could have found my first shawl for this video. I know I still have it somewhere. It's a worsted weight shawl that I knit back in 2014, but it's a little bit small so it doesn't fit around my neck or shoulders very well. Because of that, I've never worn it, but I keep it because it's special. It's knit out of some red heart yarn that I bought from Walmart. My first few projects were on yarn that I bought from Walmart, just because I knew that they carried it and I hadn't figured out where else to find it yet. I think it was after I knit that shawl that I branched out and figured out more places to buy yarn. I really enjoyed reminiscing about projects that I knit years ago for this video. It really made me think about why I wear some shawls more than others and how that should affect my future shawl knitting. If I learned anything from this video, it's that I like knitting those um, asymmetrical triangular shaped shawls, but I never end up wearing them and I just kind of forget about them. I find symmetrical shawls work a lot better with the rest of my wardrobe. I also learned that I will wear less soft wool in sweater form, but I likely won't grab something to wear around my neck unless it's nice and soft. I also wanted to say a thank you to my partner Andy who came up with the name for this episode. I was going to call it something boring like trying on all my shawls. But after I explained why, I was surrounded by a mountain of shawls and that these were only the ones that I remembered knitting, he came up with a better name. If you enjoyed this video, please consider liking it and subscribing to my channel. It lets me know that you're interested and by subscribing, it will make it easier for you to find my future videos. Thank you so much for watching. We'll see you next time. Bye-bye.